those who become are those who never settle. They know that there is always a better and greater version. Anything does not bring money. The Bible never tied tithing to money. Let me tell you what tithing does. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sorry. Many people tithe because they want money. Wrong. Tithing as a principle and as a key in the kingdom has nothing to do with financial prosperity. It is your giving that brings financial increase. Are you hearing me? Tithing opens the heavens see listen listen look at me there's no time we have to touch other aspects and i want us to pray please look at me the bible says god created many trees in the garden of eden is that true but god kept a tithe in that garden of eden i want to show you where titan started from so long as that tithe was not touched the heavens were open god could come in the cool of the day is that true please answer me titan is one of the spiritual laws that is responsible for open heavens. So whatever you do under that open heavens will now prosper. That's why tithing does not just affect finance alone. Health, longevity, different aspects of our lives. The reason why we preachers only reduce tithes to money is simply because we want the money. Period. The day man touched the tithe, what happened? The heavens were closed and they sent him out of the garden of Eden. Look at how important tithing is to God. So long as man did not touch the tithe, he could enjoy any other tree. He touched the tithe, God sent him out. So every many of us are operating under closed heavens. You are giving but under closed heavens. You are serving God but under closed heavens. Let me tell you something. I don't care whatever you do. See, the devourer is not a demon. The devourer is a principality. He operates on legal grounds. Principalities operate on legal grounds. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That means you, can, you don't pray them away. You don't pray them away. There are kingdom principles that keep them at bay. Please understand this. He said, in my name they shall cast out what? But he said, they overcame them by... It is in my name. Many of us have been praying, trying to cast away principalities in our lives. No, it is your obedience of kingdom principles that keep them far. That means if you are not a tighter, even God cannot stop the devourer. It will take only the blood to speak for you. Are you hearing me, please? In the series that are coming, I will teach you about the mystery of the spirit, the water and the blood. Because the Bible says there are three that bear witness in heaven. The Father, the Word and the Spirit. He said these three are in agreement. He said, but in the earth realm, there are three, the three entities that can open any door in this realm. The spirit, the water, that's the word of God. And what? The blood. He said, and these three agree. Anything they agree on, that door must open. Hallelujah. These are very deep spiritual principles. There are many of you, you have prayed and fasted about some things. It didn't change. That's to tell you that your spiritual approach may be wrong. Hallelujah. Let's continue. Tithing. The heavens will open over you. Everybody say in the name of Jesus. I receive grace to be faithful. I need my heavens open. See, when your heavens are open, you will know. You will know your heavens are open. One time I was praying, I think around chapel, and the Lord showed me a vision. I looked up and I saw like two ancient gates. They were closing and opening, closing and opening. I said, Lord, what is the meaning of this? And the Lord told me, this is the heavens opening and closing over people. And this is the faithfulness of tithing. Please take this serious. Tithing does not bring money. Tithing opens the heavens. When the heavens are open, 
anything done under that open heavens will succeed you see why some of you have been given you have been given to the poor you have been given to the needy things are not working because the heavens are closed the devourer just needs to look at your heavens and know whether he's permitted to come to your life or not this is a powerful key that many many ministries there are many ministries who love god great preachers but they are living under closed heavens so they don't know why members don't come have you seen people complain like that members come and go members do this and that i will train people and then they will leave let me tell you something check it if you are not careful the heavens are open the heavens are closed sorry when your heavens are open you will see extraordinary things that you know only god can do you can't negotiate this principle god is not a politician there's no back door no shortcut hallelujah so have you been faithful in tithing if you have not been faithful in tithing stop saying god is responsible for what you are in you have permitted the devourer there are many of us who are in business you don't tithe many of us god blesses us you don't tithe see if you do it out of force it's not by faith and whatever is not of faith is sin you just wasted your time it is a product of a revelation how can i eat the tithe of god 